Sarah Bellwood here, holistic nutritionist and personal trainer at eatsquad.com and I'm so excited to be in the kitchen with you guys today because we are making one of my all-time favorite recipes. This recipe is inspired by Chocolate Covered Katie and it is an awesome fat bomb recipe and like I mentioned it mimics one of my all-time childhood favorite snack foods. Cookie dough. I used to love cookie dough so much, blissfully unaware of all of the havoc I was wreaking on my digestive system. So I am super excited about this recipe today because it is a great alternative for that delicious cookie dough. We posted a cookie dough ball recipe last year, which I will link somewhere floating over my head. That is a really great recipe for pre or post workout. This recipe is a little bit different because it is a very low carb recipe. So the only sugar that we're going to be having in this recipe today is maple syrup, so there are no dates involved. I mean, I could be your date. Not only are these cookie dough balls absolutely freaking delicious, but they are great for an afternoon pick-me-up. We have added two of our favorite herbs. As you know, we love maca at Eat Squat Come HQ. <laughs> so maca is a really great for boosting mood, boosting energy, and libido. We have also added one of our other favorite herbs, chaga mushroom. Chaga is really great for supporting and boosting the immune system. So you will feel fresh and full of life and ready to continue on with your day, maybe without opting for a really high sugar or caffeinated snack mid afternoon. Let's get to it. Here is what you will need for this recipe. We have one quarter cup of melted coconut oil, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of chaga mushrooms, so freshly ground chaga, half a teaspoon of ground maca, a dash of cinnamon and or nutmeg if you would like, one cup plus two tablespoons of almond flour, as many vegan chocolate chips as your heart desires. Here I have about three tablespoons. So all you need to do for this recipe is add all of your ingredients into a mixing bowl. So let's do it. dough feels a little bit too soft and too liquidy then of course feel free to add more flour and that will help to thicken it up. After you have rolled it into balls, place in freezer to cool. Ooh, frozen cookie dough. Kendra, want to try one? Yes, I want one too. Cheers. <laughs> Wow. It tastes like cookie dough. This is so good. And it's so satiating too. Like there are so many nutrients in here that, I mean, if I really tried, I could probably eat all of these, but just one or maybe two would be enough. Whereas with cookie dough, you're just gonna keep eating and eating that tub. There's nothing good for you in there. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, don't forget to eat Squat, anchor.